After that, I think we'd like to ask an English question. Boys, one of the most lo longest uh, men's doubles finals we've seen here. And how special, firstly, does it feel to come through such a tough battle and to become the first Colombian pair to be the men's uh, doubles winners? <laughs> I mean, I'm speechless. Um, really, um, uh, I kept watching the watch through the first and second set, and I'm like, we finished the second set, and it's been two hours and 15 minutes play. And I'm like, I mean, this is ridiculous. Like, how, how long is this? And from there on, we just kept, kept battling, kept battling, just focus on the game. And once we lose the fourth set, uh, we have that break. And we, we sat down, I put my legs up, I got some a rub by my, my physio, Selas, uh, put his legs down, up too, sorry. And once we come back to the, to the, to the court, I seriously had a second win. I felt so good again. And I feel like we, we played unreal that third set. We really played well. We, we got our returns. But that fifth set, we, we really got our returns in and put, some, put the pressure. And I mean, to, be, to, to do this for Colombia, a country that, I mean, we, we, since Colsanita started sponsoring the sport, kind of got some history. It, it's just crazy. And I mean, to be part of it is just amazing. Did you feel the break was pretty pivotal for you guys? I felt very nervous when we broke the first time, <laughs> even though I, I don't think they, we, we got broken because of mistakes. They actually had very good points at 15-40 and at 30-40. And, and of course, once you're 4-3 and you break, you know you got to hold once and you're champion of Wimbledon. And you go love 30 down with one crazy point at love 15. I mean, Sebas, I think he show his courage and show his um, his emotions, how calm he is and was able to, I, I'm not sure if he made four first serves, but but it was something like that and pure joy. And just finally, I think you're the new world number ones on Monday. How does that feel to have the double whammy of a, <laughs> a win and now the world number ones? It's, it's, it's just crazy. Uh, the moment we're living right now is just crazy. Uh, we never actually won three matches here in a row. No, in a, no, no two matches in a regular tournament ATP on grass. Now we we won two tournaments in a row, and we're number one in the world. Like, <laughs> what I can say? Where? <laughs> what I can say to you? What just happened? Yeah, what, what I can say to you? Just <laughs> we focus in our game. Like we have a rule: just fight until the last point, and everything. The whole puzzle works itself. I just we just keep fighting. We keep working. And actually, the whole like many years of work is the whole puzzle make make together today. Like it gets coordinated. I don't know how to say it, the start, whatever. God, how you wanna put it? But everything makes sense. And we're here. We won Wimbledon. It's amazing. And we're number one. Like for Colombia, it's huge. Like Rob just said, like we mainly have history. Like ten years ago with Fabiola, many years ago in the, in the WTA. But in the ATP with Faja, Giraldo, Gonzalez, only uh, coming a uh, long time ago. But now it's like really making the big tournaments, breaking news, finals, ATP, and and we just won Wimbledon for Colombia. So it's it's huge. It's like it's something like I don't know how to explain it, but it's huge for our country. And I hope everybody enjoys us. Cheers, boys. Thanks. Hola. Hey. Any more English questions? No, English. Yes, English, English. English? Uh, one okay. more, yeah, sorry, I was uh, distracted. No, no, um, well, what's the secret of your partnership? You guys have been together for a few years, you know, in good and bad times. Uh, I think we, we've been friends, almost brothers, since we're five. Uh, it's, we've literally grew up together. We were sponsored by Colsanitas since, since we're 10, 11. Uh, we grew up all together in a house. They, so basically that, that gives you a strong bond, um, not, not only with Sebas, but with all the other Davis Cup uh, players, Alejandro Falla, Santiago uh, Giraldo. And, and obviously Sebas and I, since I left college in 2010, we said, let's play together. We had played before I went to college and it worked out from the beginning, it clicked. 
and, and I knew I know Sheva's has the has the touch, has the magic in his hand, and I have the power, and I feel like that's a very good um, duo, you know, and and I mean it's great to to live this with with your brother, you know, your brother from like another mother. I know it's a cliche, but it's really what it is. And uh, you know you work with uh, Jeff, right? Uh, how is uh, what does he bring on the team? And he must be proud of you guys. He deserves everything. Like we get the credit, but actually he's the guy that changed our life, changed our tour, changed our tennis level. Let's say like that. He's the one that put in the the work behind the scenes. Let's put it like this, and he deserves equal credit or more than us because he's a life changer for us. We respect him. We we give him all the credit that he deserves, and we're really happy life put him in our lives. Can I have one more? <laughs> Sorry. No, so you guys had to go to the Royal Box, so how was the experience? <laughs> I mean, not every day the whole royalty of the UK is watching you play tennis, so... I mean, it's just in this... That court is just magical. I don't have any other words to describe that court. Yeah. It's just magical. And every time I've been in that court, I feel the same thing. It's just... It's the best court on tour. Uh, I mean, you're just in the most exclusive court, tennis court in the world. And and I know, I mean, the, the whole history that court has is just crazy. And to think that you grew up watching it and now, now you're winning in it, just becomes even more magical. And uh, just my last question for the mind. <laughs> I know, like, you know, there's this thing, like, you guys hit each other a lot, so in doubles, uh, it happens a lot, so do you guys apologize, not apologize, what's the, um, <laughs> what happened? <laughs> no, no, obviously you apologize, it's two, it's two type, two version of hitting the other guy, like, today it was a play, it wasn't nothing but intentions on it in the whole match, we, we hit them, they hit us. So when it is the play, there's nothing you can do. It's doubles, that's it. It's too fast, it's quickly, good hands, and that's the way it is. But when it's bad intention, you know it. You know it when, when you like really want to make damage or people that really look to you. But when it's, when it's in the play, like everybody knows it, and that's why like if you can see it, every time we hit each other, it was like good environment, like good fair play, like everything was good, like nothing bad looks or whatever. It's like it's the play it is, it's doubles, and it's nothing strange with these guys, so it's all good. Okay, let's uh, switch language then, if you may. I'd like to ask the first question. Bueno, supongo que después de 29 participaciones juntos, ¿no? En Grand Slam, creo que son. Si no están mal los datos, si lo dije, tú. habéis conseguido mantener la fe y debe ser esto un alivio tremendo, ¿no? Porque perdisteis una final el año pasado, no sé qué sentís, qué podéis decir de, de vuestra sensación ahora mismo. Creo que uno va creciendo como ser humano y como atleta y todo lo que, todas las experiencias que vas acumulando dentro de tu vida se acumulan y, y tú eres el responsable de aprender de ellas y la vida te va a seguir tirando las experiencias y mientras que no las aprendas vas a vivirlas de nuevo y revivirlas y creo que la vida nos puso un camino, nos puso a aprender cosas que necesitamos aprender para ganar el partido de hoy y eso es lo que sucedió, eh, sabíamos que teníamos el nivel, sabíamos que estábamos preparados y encontramos sensaciones parecidas a muchas situaciones que vivimos anteriormente Y sin esas situaciones no hubiéramos podido hacer lo que hicimos hoy. Y creo que esa es la vida y agradecido con, con Dios, con, con nuestro box, con Sebas, de poder sacar algo así. Os he entendido que os conocéis desde los cinco años, ¿no? Has dicho. Sí, nos Imagínate, conocemos desde los cinco años. Que calvo por eso. <ríe> Somos, sí, sí, crecimos juntos, eh, nos patrocinó Colsanitas de Chicos y. Y igualmente somos de la misma ciudad, somos casi, él desde el 86, yo del 87, así que competimos en, en contra toda la vida, chiquitos, y luego nos juntamos y juntamos las fuerzas y llevamos jugando dobles, pues nuestro primer doble juntos fue cuando teníamos 11, 10, 11 años, 
y después profesional a full, a full, a full, a partir del 2010. Eso lo hace que sea una historia muy especial, ¿no? También lo muestra, porque no habrá muchas parejas, yo creo, que tengan esa trayectoria vital y, yo creo y que, deportiva, ¿no? Sí, obvio, es especial. Como lo dijo Robert, ahorita pues en inglés somos hermanos de diferentes mamás, pero somos hermanos, nos conocemos prácticamente toda la vida, mantenemos todo el año juntos, viajamos juntos, descansamos juntos, o sea, es algo que mi esposa dice que tiene dos maridos, así de simple. Y bueno, como tú lo dices, es muy especial y obviamente nos conocemos de pie a pa y no hay mucho que decir, o sea, esto ya somos hermanos, nos, o sea, no simplemente con él, sino con nosotros, como lo dijo Robin, el, con los otros colombianos y la verdad es que es muy lindo poder competir con alguien que, que considera su hermano, hacer los logros, luchar por lo que luchamos y bueno, para contestarte la primera, yo creo que los únicos que pueden llevar más tiempo o algo parecido son los Bryans y, y después nosotros, yo creo que no tienen, no, no deben haber más, que lleve más pues, tanto tiempo juntos o por lo menos que me venga a la cabeza ahora. ¿Por qué esta pista es mágica? No, lo, ¿Lo viste por cinco horas? <ríe> no, es especial, es cancha llena, es historia, pasto, Wimbledon, catedral, o sea, sobran, 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 sobran adjetivos, sinónimos. El torneo por, más viejo del mundo. O sea, so, es donde nació el tenis, aquí también el único torneo en, en, en pasto, o sea, los que sobran son porque es especial. Y la verdad es que hay que agradecerle a Dios porque tenemos el privilegio de estar compitiendo y en este torneo tan especial y que hoy, gracias a Dios, pudimos sacarlo adelante y somos campeones de Wimbledon. ¿Qué le habéis hecho a Maut al final del partido cuando se ha llevado ese pelotazo? No, lo tomó muy bien, la verdad es que a un momento se calentó dentro del partido y en francés le dije, sabes que no es con culpa, o sea, sabes que es, eh, estás jugando... Estamos jugando tenis y te cruzas y estás pegado a la malla. Yo estoy pegado a la malla y la bola te va a impactar si, si, si se me sale un poquito, si me entiendes. Me abrazó y me dijo, lo sé, y se, 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 le dio risa y ya está. Bueno, ¿y ahora qué? Porque no sé hasta qué punto esto os da mucha confianza para lo que tenéis delante y para seguir incluso haciendo más, ¿no? Sí, obviamente, pues, meta cumplida, pero aquí no termina el año. Sigue, sigue el año, sigue el calendario. Ahorita ya nos reuniremos con nuestro equipo, plantearemos las cosas, qué torneo eh, seguir y, y no cambia nada. Las metas siguen, los, el calendario sigue. O sea, el, el, el tenis no va a parar porque nosotros ganamos este torneo. Ni el calendario. O sea, si toca hacerlo como venimos haciendo nosotros lo mejor posible y para llegar acá a, los tor a todos los torneos para llegar a competir a alto nivel. Bien. Gracias. 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 Gracias.